why would a podcast that focuses on health, longevity, all of these things that pertain to living longer and, and better, why would sex be an important part of that discussion? Well, I'm having a hard time understanding how sex couldn't be a part of that conversation. I think, you know, first of all, this is a performance-driven podcast. And so for the 50% of your listeners who are male, if you want to improve your performance, I'm going to give you facts and anatomical descriptions and describe some pathophysiology so that you can improve your performance. Sexual health is health. And when you look at your longevity levers and you think about your centenarian decathlon and what you want to do when you're 100, for many people, this is on the list. And I want to talk about how to structure your life and get you ready to do that. We're finally going to talk about the drive that you actually care about, um, <laughs> which is sex drive. When we ask patients to pick the 10 most important things that they want to be able to do in their marginal decade, in the last decade of their life, about two thirds of our patients select having sex as one of those 10 activities. That says something, given that we're giving people a list of about 150 things to choose from, all of which are quite uh, tempting. If I could just make one more shameless plug for having a high VO2 max, it's going to allow you to be sexually active in the last decade of your life. And I think in addition to that, it would be great if at the end of this, we had a list of a few sort of action items in addition to a minimal VO2 max that we could consider a toolkit in order to get this action as something that's actually attainable on your centenarian list.